So after rubbing it down, I don't need to rub it down to bare metal. This has been done before. You can see that this bulkhead's in really good condition anyway. I've uh, given it a quick rub down with a 120 grit just to give it a key. And then a slightly finer, I went to about a 600, I think. And I'm just giving it a little bit of a spray with some primer, not etch primer. You don't need etch primer because this is metal. It's not actually aluminium. So just an ordinary primer on any bare metal that I did expose so that it doesn't flash rust overnight or rust at all. Stage will be to just give it another light sanding with maybe the 600 again, and then do the top coat with the deep bronze green. So I'm using Coach Enamel from Paintman and it is deep bronze green. Temperature outside is roughly 20 degrees. It's quite still, but I am doing the inside of the car so I'm not too worried about wind. I'm also gonna do this wing here as well, which I've got in the shed. And so that's pretty much protected from the elements as well. So I need to get this open, stirred and poured into here. I'm using a six or a four inch roller. There it is. Foam rollers, disposable. Don't try and clean these. And just a little tray, which I'll fill with the paint. I can roll on there. I've got three different brushes. Now these are good quality brushes that I got from Paint Man as well. Got a smaller one, an inch one for painting in corners and what have you. I've got a slightly bigger one if I need to cover areas where I can't actually get the roller in because it's going to be a bit tricky doing the bulkhead. And I've got this one that laying off, which means when I roll her on, I'll quickly use this and lay the paint off so just very lightly run it through the paint. I will link the video somewhere up here for you to have a look at the coach painting video that I did on the sides of the car so I'm using that technique I'm using the roller and the brush laying off.
I'm gonna let that dry off now, close all the doors and windows so it doesn't get any dust in here, or very little anyway. It's a bit of a nightmare to do that. It'd be so much easier to spray it, but anyway, it's done. We need to leave that for a day or two and see how it turns out. So I've left this to dry for 24 hours. In fact, it's probably about 26, 27 hours. It was really warm yesterday. It's been warm today. It's really warm sat in the lounge over here. So it's baked on pretty good. Um, like I said yesterday, I shouldn't have really been painted in such bright sunlight. The sunlight wasn't actually hitting this, but it was making me squint a little bit. And you can see a few little areas here, which I just happened to have missed. It's no big deal. The next time I paint a panel, I'll just quickly run the roller over these. That's the beauty of hand painting it. You can do that and you're not going to really see a difference. Uh, you can see that it's it, it's not the best finish. That's more down to the fact that these brush marks were in from the previous owner's brush, mark, brush painting of the olive drab. And I wasn't going to go to all the hassle of sand and everything down, back down to the bare metal. What I might try and do when I, when the whole Land Rover is painted is put a, a wet sand on it. So maybe a P2000, a really fine paper, wet sand it back. So it's just flat it back a little bit and try and tea cut it and polish it and see if I can get any of these strokes out. But apart from that, it looks pretty good. By the time you get all the steering wheel and all the dash back on, you're not even gonna notice it really. So I'm really happy with it. It's turned out really good. So while I was busy painting, I thought I might as well do a few extra bits. So I hung the floor panels on here and just rolled and brushed off on these as well. So they've come up really good. It's quite easy when you're doing a nice flat panel like that. And I also did this side wing. If you've seen any of my older videos, you would have known that I made a mess of these. I painted them around May time last year and it was a damp night and they just look terrible, but they look really good today. I'm quite happy with that. Still a little bit shiny, but the shine will come off them eventually. Look at that colour difference. Lovely drab. I hope you're enjoying my build of the Series 2A Land Rover. If you did, hit the subscribe so that you can keep up to date with all of the progress and we'll see you in the next video.